Yes. Okay. Harvey, those are good. Yeah, we're not going to answer this. Yeah, they're just going to make me feel Are we good? Are we good? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. All right, miss. Let me know when we're live, and I'll, I'll do a nice big explanation, and then we'll get started. We are live. <laughs> All right, so we are at the finals of the 2024 Bradley Central Battle of the Books competition. We have the bombastic bookies on the left with their captain, Xavier. We have the proud pandas on the right with Captain Jonah. Uh, as we've discussed before, this round is a little bit different because there will be 48 questions. Team one, um, the bombastic bookies, will get all the odd numbered questions. And team two, the proud pandas, will get all the even numbered questions. If you miss a question, the other team will have an opportunity to steal. All of the answers in the competition, all the answers to the questions will be the title and author of the books, where the title is worth five points and the author, correct author, is worth two points. Um, if you need to know the score of the competition, I will announce the score after every 10 questions. So after question 10, 20, 30, and question 40, I will announce the scores. Okay. In the event of a tie after 48 questions, we will start tiebreaker questions. And I will explain the rules to that if we get there. Okay. Are there any questions before we begin? Okay. Let the battle begin. Question number one, Bombastic Bookies. In what book did a character have trouble coming up with a birth certificate? That is correct. Question number two, Crow Pandas. In what book did two characters make models for a new junior high school? Wednesday Wars by Gary D. Schmidt. That is correct. Question number three, Bombastic Bookies. In what book does a teacher tell his class about famous people who struggled with learning disabilities? That is correct. Question four to the Proud Pandas. In what book do the main characters videotape the progress on their project? Project Mulberry by Lynn Supar. That is correct. Um, question five to the Bombastic Bookies. In what book does a character pay his debt with two colts? Justin Morgan had a horse by Margaret Henry. Correct. Question six to the Proud Pandas. In what book does a main character's best friend use the word swishy a lot? Uh, the Tale of Emily Winsnap by Les Kelsler. That is correct. Question seven to the Bombastic Bookies. In what book does a hen hatch and care for another bird's eggs? What song by Gary Paulson? That is correct. Eight, to the Proud Pandas. In what book did a general threaten to hang a weatherman if the rain didn't stop between 5 and 6 a.m.? Steve that is correct. <laughs> Question number nine to the Bombastic Bookies. In what book does a rainstorm cause a creek to rise, making it harder for characters to cross over to their secret castle? Which 
Christian Terabithia by Katherine Patterson? Correct. Question 10 to the Proud Pandas. In what book does a homesteader, I'll start again. In what book does a homesteader try to trade strudel for coffee? That is correct. So after 10 questions, I don't believe anybody's missed a question, so we are tied at 35 apiece. It's good, easy to see why you guys are in the finals. We're just getting started. All right, question 11. Um, question 11 of the Bombastic Bookies. In what book does a boy receive a note on brown paper with the word done on it? Does my shirts by Jennifer Cholmango. Correct. Question number 12 to the Proud Pandas. In what book did the main character have daydreams about saving the girl he had a crush on? Um, Fire Girl by Tony Abbott. Correct. All right. Question 13 to the Bombastic Bookies. In what book do all the members of the club take a field trip to a farm? Project Mulberry by Linda Supart. Correct. Question 14 to the Proud Pandas. In what book does a character's spouse go missing in action? Um, Wednesday Wars by Gary D. Schmidt. That's correct. 15. To the Bombastic Bookies, in what book does a character buy a coin because it was minted the year his grandfather was born? I need an answer. Wednesday Wars by Gary D. Schmidt. That is incorrect. Do you have a steal? Um, Fish in a Tree by Linda Mulally Hunt. That is correct. Okay, so question 16 will go to... Oh, sorry. Okay, uh, sorry. You're really... Question 16 will go to the Proud Pandas. In what book is the story about a main character that is not always present? Can you repeat the question? In what book is the story about a main character that is not always present? Okay, do you have an answer? Bomb by Steve Shanklin. That's incorrect. Do you have an answer? Uh, Bob, I'm Uh, what song by Gary Paulson? Incorrect. Okay, so I'm coming back to seven, num uh, question 17 to the Bombastic Bookies. In what book does a dream about a ceiling of amber and pavement of pearl play an important role in the main character's discovery of her father? Tale of Emily Winsnap by Liz Kessler. Correct. 18. To the Proud Pandas. In what book does a character cook paella for another character? Can you, ask her, or, can you repeat the question? In what book does a character cook paella for another character? Paella spelled P-A-E-L-L-A. -L -L -A. And I need an answer. Um, Hattie Big Sky by Kirby Larson. Incorrect. Do you have a steal? Heat by Mike Lupica. That is correct. 19. Back to the Bombastic Bookies. In what book do ravens steal meat from the dinner bowls in a puppy pen? What song by Gary Paulson? Correct. 20 to the Proud Pandas. In what book does a character ask his mother if he can invite a friend to church on Easter, even though he knows his mother does not like her? Um, Bridge to Terabithia by Catherine Peterson. Correct. So we are now 20 questions, and I think. 
Oh, no. Oh, 20 questions. And the Bombastic Boogies are up by 7 points, 70 to 63. Okay? Okay. 21 is going to go to the Bombastic Boogies. And remember, this is a 48-question round, so 28 questions to go. 21 to the Bombastic Bookies. In what book does a horse race a quarter of a mile in 36 seconds? Justin Morgan had a horse by Margaret Henry. Yes. Question 22 to the Proud Pandas. In what book is a friend good at both training horses and doctoring? Um, that time was up at the 20 um, seconds. Uh, Hattie Big Sky by Kirby Larson? That is correct. Yeah, if you want to repeat, try to get that in as quick as you can. But All right. that is 23. Um, to the Bombastic Bookies, in what book did a spy use passages from the poem Leaves of Grass in his messages? Bomb by Steve Schenken. Correct. 24. <laughs> To the Proud Pandas, in what book does the main character visit the warden of a famous prison? Um, Al Capone Does My Shirts by Jennifer Chilenko. Correct. Twenty-five to the Bombastic Bookies. In what book did a family have an electric fence to keep goats and predators out of their yard? Song by Gary Paulson. Correct. 26 Proud Pandas. In what story does the main character choose a classmate over a car ride? Um, Fire Girl by Tony Abbott. Correct. 27 Bob Astor Bookies. In what book was a character asked to clean chalkboard erasers? Wednesday Wars by Gary D. Schmidt. Correct. 28 to the Proud Pandas. In what book does a newspaper want to take a picture of a character and his father? Can you repeat the question? In what book does a character, what book does a newspaper want to take a picture of a character and his father? Um, Al Capone Does My Shirts by Jennifer Chalenko. That is incorrect. You have a steal. Heat by Mike Lupica. That is correct. 29, coming back to the Bombastic Bookies. In what book is the main character jealous because his best friend spends too much time with her father while they renovate their home? Richard Terabithia by Katherine Patterson. Um, so we're down to 29. Yes, that is correct. I'm sorry. Lost track. I'm good timing in that. Okay. Okay. Number thirty to uh, the Proud Pandas. In what book was an experienced twenty-nine-year-old combat pilot picked for the Atomic Project? Um, bomb by Steve Shanklin. Um. Uh, yes, that is correct. Be careful on the pronunciations of, of the authors' names. Okay. How do you pronounce it? It's Schenken, I believe. Oh. I just heard a, I heard Schenken. Schenken. Yeah, you, you just snuck an L in there. It's okay. Uh, and after 30 questions, is that 30? Okay. So we are at 112 to 91. So just so you know, that's, is that, a, is that a 14? I'm just, I'm just, I just want to check. No, I, I, we're, we're close. I just want to make sure it adds up correct. Make sure. We've had scoring things before, so I just want to make sure. Oh, right. Okay, right. I'm like, it should be a nice seven. That's what I was going to do. Okay. Okay, we're on question number 31. I'm going to come back to the Bombastic Bookies. In what book does a character calm down wounded animals by speaking to them as if they were children? 
What song by Gary Paulson? Incorrect. Do you guys have a steal? Um, Justin Morgan Had a Horse by Margaret Henry? Correct. Okay, 32. Coming back to um, the Proud Pandas. In what book does a character convince her older brother to meet with her teacher so he can get help learning to read? Oh, um, uh, where is it? Fish in a Tree by Linda Mullally Hunt. That is correct. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go 33, back to the Bombastic Bookies. In what book is a character going to attend a school on the mainland? Al Capone Does My Shirts by Jennifer Cholbenko. Correct. 34, The Proud Pandas. In what book does a homesteader dunk a disobedient hen in a rain barrel three times? Um, Hattie Big Sky by Kirby Larson. Correct. 35, Bombastic Bookies. And what book does the main character's mother teach her to embroider? Project Mulberry by Linda Sue Parks. Correct. And 36 to the Proud Pandas. And what book did the main character's mother work in a secondhand bookstore? Can you repeat the question? In what book does the main character's mother work in a second-hand bookstore? I need an answer. Um, the Tale of Emily Winstead by Liz Kessler? That is correct. <laughs> okay. 37, Bombastic Bookies. In what book is Star Trek a character's favorite television show? Fire Girl by Tony Abbott. That's incorrect. Fish in a Tree by Linda Mullally Hunt. That's correct. <laughs> okay. 38, The Proud Pandas. In what book do the characters play the district final game in Yankee Stadium? Um, wait, is it ours? Yeah, 38 to you. Yep. Um, Repeat the question. Please. In what book do characters play the final, the district final game in Yankee Stadium? Um, Heat by Mike Lupica. That's correct. Okay, 39 to the uh, Bombastic Bookies. In what book does the president ride the main character's horse? Justin Morgan had a horse by Margaret Henry. That's correct. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to have question number 40 to the Proud Pandas. In what book do the worms molt, shedding their outer skins? Um, Project Mulberry by Linda Sue Park. That's correct. Okay. So we have a seven point. No, they're up by seven. Okay. Yep, Miss Vogel's Proud Pandas are up by seven now, 140 to 133. Eight questions to go. Okay, question 41, Bombastic Bookies. In what book does an animal fall asleep from boredom while running? Wood Song by Gary Paulson. Correct. 42, Proud Pandas. In what book is a girl set to live with her grandma on Knob Hill? Can you repeat the question? In what book is a girl sent to live with her grandma on Knob Hill? <laughs> I need an answer. Um, Fire Girl by Tony Abbott. Um, that is incorrect. Do you have a steal? Um, Wednesday Wars by Gary D. Schmidt. Also incorrect. All right, so we're on question number 43. <laughs> Bombastic Bookies. In what book does the main character visit his father in New York? Can you repeat the question? In what book, I need an answer right away, in what book does the main character um, visit his father in New York. Uh, 
Bridge of Terabithia by Katherine Patterson. That's incorrect. Do you have a steal? Fire Girl by Tony Abbott. That is correct. <laughs> 44 to the Proud Pandas. Are you ready? 44. In what book did two characters take turns reading parts from The Merchant of Venice? Um, Wednesday Wars by Gary E. Schmidt. That's correct. Um, question number 45 to the Bombastic Bookies. In what book does the main character meet her father for the first time in prison? Tale of Emily Winsnap by Liz Kessler. That is correct. 46. Proud Pandas. In what book did a simple discovery launch a cutthroat race that would span three continents? Um, Bomb by Steve Shaken. That is correct. That's correct. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> 47. I'm 47 to the Bombastic Bookies. In what book is a woman fined for sending money to her family that now lives in Germany? Hattie Big Sky by Kirby Larson. That is correct. Question number 48, last question. In... <laughs> okay, 48, last question. In what book... That was my short race. Read it right. In what book does the family not have enough money for new Easter clothes after their father lost his job? Um, Bridge to Terabithia by Catherine Peters. That is correct. And by and Prop Pandas are the champions. Yes! 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 Really good. Good job, guys. Good job. Congratulations, guys. Just, that wow, was one of the that closest was so close. Cool. That was so close. Well intense. done by everybody. <laughs> yes. Should we get a picture of everybody? Is it still going? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh! Here. I can Do you want me to stop? Yeah. Yeah. How much points did we win? Seven or 14? Basically, it was 14, but that, if you would have missed the last question, they would have stole it. That oh, was sorry, so awesome. Oh, wait, no.